Hello, it's Lana here from the Information Lab in London. Today, I'll be going over the new 2020.3 feature, the IN operator. So how does it work? I want to group these into my categories that I am interested in. So if I click little drop down and go to create a calculated field, I'm just going to open the side and type in IN here. I'm going to click on it. This will give you what you need in your equation for the in statement to work. So let's start with subcategory in and then in brackets I just want to look at binders and then close bracket and this is just going to be called my subcategories and if I hit apply it goes over to my orders table and if I drag that into my view you'll see that it only returns true for binders. But with this, instead of having to write an OR statement where it could end up with five, 10 lines of OR, what we can do is if I put a comma and I then look at bookcases as well and chairs and then hit apply, you'll see that that then changes my true false on subcategories. So I can then remove my subcategory from my view and see what the total amount of sales is for my in, for my true and my for my false. To make that a little bit clearer, if I go to edit that, we can use the if statement. So if that statement is true, then say mine, else, other, end. and then hit OK. So now we can see that my subcategories was worth this much in sales, whereas the others was over that. We can also use the in statement to do the first letter of the subcategories. So if I wanted to only bring back the subcategories beginning with A, B and C, if I go to create a new calculated field and just call it A, B and C, we can say if left, so left of the subcategory 1, in A, B, or C. Again, this saves us with that long or operator. So if I hit OK with this, and if I go to my, show my true false, You'll see that my trues are my A, B's and C's and my falses are everything else. The in operator will stop you from writing those long, complicated OR statements. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and check out the feature release playlist for more awesome features.